Hey, in this podcast, I want to talk to you guys about fan clubs and why I'm deleting my Patreon account. So, hey, what's going on, guys? It is my 41st birthday as I'm recording this, 41 and young. And uh, if uh, you were on my email list, you would have saw the crazy sale we did um, for my program music selling machine where you got 41% off. If you missed that, you need to get on my email list for Smart Music Business, which probably means you need to buy an e-book or a program off of me to get on the email list because we don't really have any freebies except for this podcast and the YouTube stuff we put out. But um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about fan clubs because I've been doing the Patreon thing for a while. And uh, I've decided to uh, delete it for a bunch of reasons that I'm going to go into that are um, regarding about growing your own fan club and recurring revenue, which is a real powerful thing in a way to really connect with your fans. And I was trying to get mine ready by my birthday, and I didn't because I didn't want to rush it. And thank God I have an amazing wife who is like, look, when you launch this thing for your fans, you got to make sure it's excellent. You got to make sure it's amazing. You can't like just half arsed it. You know, you got you to make it great. And sometimes we can get excited and we want to put things out when they're not like fully done yet. And so I thank God for a good wife um, that tells me to like, you know, hold off a little bit and don't don't rush it, you know, because sometimes we get excited about stuff and we want to release stuff and it's just not done yet. And it's not excellence. And there's no room for good anymore. It has to be great. It has to be excellent. It has to be amazing. So I hope that encourages you. But one of the reasons why I'm creating the fan club and taking it away from Patreon is because when you go to Patreon.com, it's not just supporting me. You know, when you if I go if I send someone to my Patreon page, they can support other people, and they can easily go off the other page, um, and and they you have all these different options, and they take a higher fee, and there's a whole bunch of other things I've heard they've you know kind of been biased against conservative people and just certain people and and whatnot, and so that's part of the reason I'm leaving, but mostly because of control. Okay, um, when someone pays, you know, me and supports me, I'm not in control of that. In fact, one time, um, Patreon made a change where they started charging my fans a higher rate and stuff like that, and it ticked a whole bunch of them off. Um, they can go and support other people, and it's not just my page they support. They can go to other people's. Um, I don't control the inside area and just don't have access to it. And so by creating my own fan club on my website with my own login and membership area, I can control everything my fans see and give them exclusive access to it. And when I launch this thing, I'm going to have their credit card information. I'm the one who's actually charging them. It goes into my account. And what's cool is, is it's monthly. So whether I create new content or whatnot, their card will automatically be charged. And what I'm doing is I'm only giving them two options. I'm giving them either right now when I launch this, it's either 10 bucks a month or I think it's 86 a year where they get to save like 20% if they do do annual, okay? And so what's going to happen is is they're going to get a private login where they log into their with their own username and password and they get access to a membership area that has all my music. It's going to have exclusive videos, demos, instrumentals, photos, all kinds of stuff. They're going to get a discount code and all kinds of really cool stuff um, that only they get. And they'll be getting new content every other week is what we're going to be doing. Okay. And sometimes they'll, and they'll always get uh, new music for free. Um, anytime I put out something new, they just automatically get that for free. And then also they'll get access to private live chats and hangouts. And so it's a really cool way to just, you know, hang out with fans, give them a really cool experience. Like right when they log in, like it just looks dope. It looks like my brand. And that's what my wife was telling me to kind of wait a little bit and design it a little bit more and really make it ours. Make it feel like a cool experience. Don't make it feel like this just whatever website, you know, make it look like exclusive, like the manifest vault of music and just a real experience for them. Make them feel awesome, you know. And then what we do is we just drip out content. And what's so cool about this is I'm going to have a whole bunch of content preloaded that drips out every uh, every 14 days. There'll be new content that comes out, and I'll set that up way ahead of time so that when somebody joins either today or they join a month from now, they'll go through a sequence where they'll just get new content, an email will get sent out, will be pre-written, and everything will be scheduled. Hopefully, I'll get this 
you know, at least three months out. But then when I do have a new song, um, they'll just get that on top of everything else that they're getting. So they'll just feel like they're getting more all the time. So that way I can actually over deliver because I'm going to aim to actually have a new song come out every single month. So they'll be getting actually three new things every single month. So what a way to over deliver, right? And then every time I have a new song, or something new, or whenever I'm doing a live chat, I can promote my my members area. I can promote my fan club, and just just keep growing it and growing it and growing it. And there's so much cool stuff. And I'm going to be giving you my template for free for this. Um, to all my fan base university members, they're going to be getting that template free and a free training that walks you through how to build a um a, a fan club, how to launch a fan club, and then how to grow your fan club. Okay, and so I'm really excited about this. But you'll have to go to fan base university.com to get into that and fan base university it is currently as i'm recording this uh 97 but um as you're listening to this it might already be 197 and then it will be application only okay because i'm only going to be working with artists that have um you know a little bit more of a track record okay as far as the coaching because um you know as much as i want to help everybody i enjoy personally helping artists that are a little bit further along because i feel like i can help you more but if you're you know a new artist don't worry. That's why I still have other ebooks and other trainings and courses that you can take to get yourself to that level. But um, the fan base, you and the coaching, I've really decided to uh, make that to, for a bit more of a higher level thing when you're a little bit more of an established artist so that I can help you further with your career. OK, so if you do want to get in, get in now because um, everything is uh, going up. But again, no matter what part of your career, we'll make sure we have different things for you to help you grow because, you know, You can do this, all right? It's all about just great music and then marketing and putting it out there. And like I said, you know, most artists don't put the time and the effort into making a great song. All right, they they the, the the most of the time they spread themselves too thin, and instead of making three amazing songs, they have to make ten, or they have to make a six song EP, and then they dilute it. Okay, think about think about like you have this really potent drink of juice like a small half cup of juice and but you know like you're like oh that's not enough i have to do more and so you pour more water into it and you dilute the drink and so it's not doesn't have as strong as taste well this is what we do as artists instead of just making three amazing strong songs we spread our energy our time and our money over six or ten songs and then so the effort and everything to, to, to make even five songs takes a lot or three songs takes a lot of effort but now you've spread your effort over uh, over ten songs but of course you try to do it in the same amount of time and so you don't put as much effort time quality into those songs and so you don't have as good as songs and let me say your best marketing plan your best Spotify hack your best you know radio hack whatever growth strategy for your music career is a great song, is a hit song. A hit song will do more for you than anything else. It'll sell longer than the newest iPhone. And I was thinking about this the other day, and it's just like, look, if you write a great song, it'll last longer than any iPhone that they put, you know, millions of dollars into making. Your song can last for decades. Where a phone, a new phone, how long does that last? Two years until they got the next new one or, or a year? And so that's why it's worth putting the time and effort and money into making an amazing song. And then the next step is, is marketing it like your life depended on it. Like just getting it out there. And this is the thing. I, I know how to see, um, there's a thing in, in Facebook where you can look in the ads library and you can see who's running ads, which artists are running ads. And for fun, I looked up every single artist that was kind of similar to me and then even outside of my genre. And I was amazed at how many artists were not running ads. They were not actively promoting their music. And I already knew it, but I just went to, wanted to prove it to myself. And so I just did a little bit of research. And of course, I was right. Barely anyone's promoting themselves. And so you have such an opportunity, my friend. I don't care if you're brand new or not. You have such an amazing opportunity right now just to get your music out there, whether you're just starting from scratch. You can, you can blow it up with one song so fast. You really can. And so I hope that encourages you, inspires you, because there is no competition out there. You know, um, We've been at this game for so long now, and um, it's just amazing that I'm realizing that the, the, the best songs do win. The best songs do win 
when you market them and you continue to push and push and push because the cream eventually rises to the top, all right? Because that's the only reason I'm still able to do music as a full-time career is because I, I, I did spend the extra money to work with the best producers possible to make the best songs possible. That's one area where we just did not skimp, okay? And so I encourage you, you know, go make one hit song. You know, go get a big feature on it. Go blow that up instead of trying to make three, five, six, ten songs. Make one hit. That'll do more for your career than anything else. Okay? Hey, I want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who ever fails. A fighter is someone who never quits. If you want that fan club template and the training, you are going to want to go to fanbaseuniversity.com and to get in if you can or you will have to apply to, uh, to get in depending on um, where we're at with things. So very excited. Have a great day and we will chat soon.